My name's Nick Fry. I'm president of the Sonoma County Wine Grape Commission, and it's a pleasure to be here and give you some information on the Sonoma Specialties. I think Sonoma Specialties says uh, what agriculture in this uh, county is. Uh, if we aren't specialists, if we don't differentiate our products, uh, generate higher value, uh, it's hard to com compete in a global agricultural market. So I think the, the term fits well. Uh, the recommended act, uh, oops. key industry drivers. Uh, growing demand for local products, I think the locavore movement is important. And it's not only our foods, but it's our wines. So uh, we hope that you are buying our locally produced wines as well as uh, the food products. But that's certainly helping this uh, industry. Total destination tourism is growing, and I think there's no place that's better for a total uh, destination experience in Sonoma County. So we have something really uh, good to sell. And competition demands collaboration. I think that agriculture uh, has a history of independent people. And I think since I've been here for 12 years, there's been a growing recognition that collaboration is critical if we're going to succeed if we're really going to be able to uh, successfully uh, differentiate our products in the market and, and grow our business. So uh, certainly an important thing is increased collaboration and I think this cluster really helps facilitate uh, even greater collaboration than has been developing in, in the recent years. The recommended actions are to promote the Sonoma County brand. Uh, I'll go on, but I think the first thing we have to do is have a Sonoma County brand. Uh, part of our problem by not collaborating is we have many Sonoma County brands. Many of them are on the same theme, but probably some of them only confuse or conflict. And you know you have to have a consistent brand message if you're going to have a strong brand. We want to enable personalized uh, tourism. Again, something that we can do here in Sonoma County and I think uh, it is a tr national trend that we need to be able to take advantage of. And we need to highlight our diversity of food and wine and lifestyle products. Uh, diversity is something that we do have. It's a fairly uh, difficult concept to communicate concisely uh, because we are diverse, but it's something that uh, is a strength and we need to, to uh, uh, communicate uh, better. Expected outcomes, adoption of a unique Sonoma County brand and message. Uh, this came from the entire group uh, and it is consistent, for your information, I office with the Sonoma County Vintners and the Sonoma County Tourism Bureau. Uh, the Sonoma County Vintners and the, the Wine Grape Commission, uh, that represents the grape growers in the county, have launched a branding effort to define our brand essence more clearly and in essence, we've targeted a consumer segment called experience seekers. Uh, there's about six segments, and experience seekers are contrasted, let's say, from a status seeker. Uh, so you can think of some products or places that status seekers might go. But experience seekers uh, are going to hopefully come here, and what's more, they can experience Sonoma County at home as they uh, enjoy our food and, and wine uh, products. The brand essence that we developed, and this is the first stage to going further and defining the message, uh, is that Sonoma County is genuine. Uh, we're warm, honest, welcoming people. I think people that come here can recognize that it's a genuine uh, community and experience. Those experience seekers are independent. They're confident in making their own decisions. Uh, as a result, I think if we can expose them to our products and our environment, uh, they're going to choose us and they're going to share that experience uh, with others. And they're adventurous. They're uh, interested in exploration and discovery. And whether that's a food product, uh, a wine product, uh, a unique winery or a uh, tourism experience somewhere in the county, uh, I think it's something that really says uh, those are the people we're trying to reach and our next stage is what are the key messages we're going to use 
to really gain their attention and more importantly differentiate Sonoma County and our experience here from all the other wine regions and, and uh, agricultural uh, regions that may be around the country or even around the world. Potential partners, tourism agencies, visitor centers, uh, wine, food, grape and ag groups, rec recreational and cultural groups, and chambers and retail groups. I think uh, we've come a long way, uh, the wine, food, grape, and tourism, uh, but this process brought in many of the other uh, food producers in the county, which is important. The tourism really does bring in the recreational, but I think the group that we have not been closely enough aligned with are the chambers and the retail groups. We need your support. We need uh, to be sending the same messages uh, to the base. We need to appreciate that if we're all strong, or each element is strong, we'll all be stronger as a result. So I think this has really helped us focus that there's still more uh, collaboration out there that we can pursue. Uh, as you can see, we had lots of people uh, that uh, were involved in this process, and I think that speaks well for uh, what I think is truly an important uh, awakening, that by coming together and working together across this fairly diverse uh, sector, and uh, that we can really uh, move forward, increase our tourism, support our agriculture, and as a result, uh, support our local economy. Thank you. Morning. I'm Bo Greaves, a uh, family physician uh, and proud to be a member of Health Action and also proud to be medical director of the new Vista Family Health Center, which is part of the Santa Rosa Community Health Centers, uh, which has shown a tremendous growth over the last 10 years, um, including over the last four, three or four years of recession, um, as we serve the neediest in our community, now serving over 30,000 patients. Um, and we anticipate that that growth will do nothing but increase over the next few years. I was part of the health and wellness cluster, which included representatives from numerous uh, healthcare organization, wellness organizations, facilities in our community that promote health education, wellness. And I think we really uh, grasped that although healthcare itself, the delivery of healthcare services, is a, about 17% of the national economy uh, currently, that we define health not as the absence of disease, but as much more than that. Health re represents a rich fabric, fabric in our community and in our lives of connection with other people, of lifestyle that includes healthy eating, active living, and that that is supported by a healthcare system that's accessible to everyone in our community. Um, so, given that, we looked at this not from the lens of simply healthcare delivery, but in the, from the lens of wellness. Sonoma County uh, presents to everyone a diverse array of wellness and active lifestyle products and services. Um, this presents for us in trying to grow our economy um, and this sector of the economy an opportunity for us to brand Sonoma County as a wellness destination, both for visitors linking us with the tourism industry, but also for our residents. Um, that is our first uh, opportunity. Secondly, we anticipate that the need for healthcare services will continue to grow. The drivers of this are the changing demographics uh, as our baby boomers enter the Medicare age and have a greater need for uh, care by the growth of the obesity problem of adults uh, and children and by the impact of health care reform as additional parts of our community have coverage. Um, and thirdly, we are entering in health care the information age. Uh, now more than 70% of primary care offices in our county have an electronic health record and have for the last several years. Those practices have a growing demand to get usable and useful information from the data that they have in their computer systems. 
and they are increasingly frustrated by the inability to get that data in a good way. What an opportunity for our information sector of the economy locally. Um, likewise, patients have an increasing demand for access that's easy to get for their own personal health information using things like social networking, text messaging, uh, and patient portals with their physician partners. Out of this discussion of those three opportunities, we've suggested pursuing a destination wellness strategy that includes three specific action areas. One is to build this brand uh, of Sonoma County. We know Sonoma County is a great place. We all live here. Uh, Sonoma County is, you can tell by seeing all the bikes out there. Um, and you can go to the farmer's market. You can get locally grown great fruits and vegetables. This strategy links us with both tourism and local agriculture um, and promoting that as an avenue for health for people who come to visit and for people who live here. Secondly, as part of that, branding Sonoma County as a wellness destination, as a community that is dedicated to having the healthiest community, in, uh, healthiest county in, Sonoma, in California by 2020, which is Health Action's goal, um, is attractive to businesses. Uh, we heard Paul Grundy, who's the exec or senior vice president from IBM, came to Sonoma County last year, talked about how IBM looks at different communities to decide where to put their plants. Um, and when they see a community that's dedicated to wellness, to health of their community, that is very attractive uh, to them in making those decisions. A good place to start in building this brand is in promoting already existing programs, such as the Wine County Senior Games that was just recently held. We also need to uh, cooperate and encourage local startup companies for health and wellness programs. The second strategy is to train a local workforce. This is a theme we're hearing from all the clusters, I think. Uh, as we enter the information age, we need people in our offices, in our practices, in the hospitals, out in the uh, uh, organizations that are doing the wellness activities that I referred to before, who are trained in this information age to build linkages with everyone else doing similar work. And thirdly, it's, it's not just about visitors and attracting new businesses, but it's about providing care and health and wellness for all of our residents. We need to enhance community engagement in health and wellness activities and promote and provide enhanced access to great health care for everyone who lives here. Health Action is a countywide program that was launched by the Board of Supervisors and has a coalition of stakeholders from around the county um, that has made remarkable progress in maintaining the momentum uh, to achieve our goal of becoming the healthiest county by 2020 and achieving our 10 measurable objectives uh, to improve the health and wellness of our community. So supporting and leveraging health action is another important part of our strategy. Potential partners, um, health action clearly is a great start. We have a huge advantage by having this wonderful coalition um, underway. Um, the Workforce Investment Board needs to link with healthcare providers and other wellness service providers in our county to really identify what are the workforce needs in the future and help the educational institutions and others provide the training that's needed for that workforce. And we need to do a better job of linking the people doing wellness with tourism groups and with healthcare providers so that the rich fabric that I talked about earlier can happen 